Hello and welcome to this video how to model custom search queries with Lobo. I'm Valentin Zickner and I'm going to walk you through how you can create your own custom search query with Lobo. To show you that, I already prepared a Flowable installation which we can use to model our own queries. Therefore, I created a simple case definition just with one human task and I started four different instances. Two of them I assigned to the user Shane Bone, it's this one and this one, and two of them I assigned to the user Flowable Admin, this one and this one. Now, when we would like to search for it, we can use the Flowable APIs to search those. Um, those APIs are documented and you will find the documentation in our um, documentation. So here you can click on developing, then you can click on REST APIs, and on the left side, you can choose between the open source uh, API documentation for REST APIs and the enterprise API. Since that is the Elasticsearch backend, it's typically in the enterprise API. And we can then click on a platform here. And uh, we have a list of the different platform APIs. Now below case instances, we have the option to search case instances. And that is exactly what we would like to do. So we can go ahead and copy that. My flowable installation is exposed to the port 8090. Then we would like to have the platform API and we would like to use search case instances. Now, when I enter that, I basically get as a result my different case instances. So here's the first demo case, here's the second and so on. Here we have in total four cases, uh, which we can actually use. Those cases are also visible in global control. Uh, first of all, when we go to cases instances, we see all of those instances, as well as when we go to indices and then search either for work or for cases. Now, when you click here on the case in below indices, you will see that you don't see the typical structure as it is coming back from the rest endpoint. You see in here the structure, how it is stored inside Elasticsearch. So when we look at that, we will also find the identity links in here. And we have a few different identity links inside our Elasticsearch document. So the starter is admin, the assignee is Shane Bone, the participant is admin as well as the owner. Now let's assume we would like to create a search query for uh, the assignee of our case. So identity link type is assignee and user ID should be flexible depending on what we defined. We can now simply go to Flowable Design and here I'm within my app and in that app I can add a new model. So let's just add a new model in here, create a new model for the app and here we choose the type other since it's not listed below there and we would like to create a query. Now we need to give uh, that query a name, so search by assignee, and then it automatically generates us a key. And that key is later on going to be important since that key is what we use to execute the query. Now we can create a new model in here and that uh, basically gives us the key here again at the top when we click on that I, as well as the query type. Now save query does all the permission handling for us and source index is basically what we would like to search for. Now for our special use case, we could go for case instances or uh, we could also go for work instances. But let's stick with case instances so far and then we will just receive all the different case instances. We also would like to have a query parameter, which is basically then later on our assignee uh, we would like to search for. That one we can mark as required so that it needs to be provided. We can provide the default value in here, uh, which is uh, then later used in our preview, which we have over there. The template content down here is already pre-filled with a basic query, which you can use, but don't need to use. So in assuming that we wouldn't like to have any case definition, we can uh, remove that one. And we can also remove the uh, if down here, just to stick with a really simple query until now. And we wouldn't like to search in variables. We would like to search when we go back to our control inside identity links. So this is a 
list of different objects. And with Elasticsearch, you typically uh, call that nested. So we need to do a nested query. And in there, we would like to do a term query to check if our type is equal to assignee and another term query to check if the user ID is equal to Shane Bone or whatever we provided actually as assignee. So let's just say here identity links. And uh, we then say here identity links dot, um, is it name? Let's just look that up in control. No, it's type and identity links dot user ID. So that is type and that is identity links dot user ID. Now, this is not my var, that should be assignee, while this here is the variable assignee. You write them as you write typically variables uh, in uh, global in the backend, so for BPMN and CMMN, only that here it's not the Java Unified Expression Language, here it's a free marker template. Uh, that also allows us actually to say we would like to escape that in case somebody else puts a double quote in there that we can simply do by question mark JSON string. Now we can try that query out and first option to try it out, we can click on preview here and we will see then basically how this query is going to look like. And whenever we change uh, basically our preview value here, we will see how that query adapts. Now I'm going to save that, that we can do at the top left here and then publish it, which makes it available to our global installation. Once published, we can execute that query. Now, whenever we try to execute it, we can use in here the search query, query case instances, which allows us then to provide a query name and different params. So let's change our um, REST endpoint to query case instances. So query, case instances slash query slash then as a next step we need to have the search by assignee so let's just place that here and then assignee equals uh, for example admin now we already got back a result and we see now we only have two results back so those are the two we basically have assigned to uh, admin when we change that to shane bone we see that we have now two back as well now let's simply go ahead and here in uh, Flowable Work, we could just reassign that one here to Shane Bone as well. And we execute our query again. We see we have now in total three responses. So that's it from my side. Thank you very much for listening. There are a few more videos you can check out actually over here. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video and see you next time.